Problem number nine from the H10-8 homework. Direction state, find the sum of the following geometric series. So our series goes four, 12, 36, and goes all the way up to 324. So because it's a geometric series, we know that there is some sort of multiplication going on here. It looks like we're multiplying times three each time. So we know then that R is going to equal three. That's our geometric ratio. And for the sum of a geometric series, we know that we need to know what the first term is, which is four, and we need to know the number of terms, and I think that's missing right now. So to find the number of terms, we've been doing this a lot here, right? So we need to think about it. We need to create the nth term equation, which is like the first term times r to the power of n minus one. So we'll throw 324 in, and we'll say that's gonna equal four times three to the power of n minus one. And now let's just solve it for n, right? Divide each side by four. 324 divided by four should be 81. And that should equal three to the power of n minus one. And now you can either take the log of each side or rewrite this in its log form. We could say this is like our little template, right? Log base three of our value 81 should equal the exponent, which is n minus one. Log base three of 81, we should know is four. Four is equal to n minus one, so we'll add one, and we know that there are five terms in this series. So now that we know that, we can take it and we can find the sum. So remember your sum equation for a geometric series is going to be first term times r to the power of n minus the first term divided by one less than r. So the sum of our five terms should equal four times three to the fifth power minus four, and then we're going to divide that by three minus one. And if you want, you can just take that and, you know, put that into the calculator here. Let's see what we get. We've got four times three to the fifth power. And then we're going to subtract four, and then we're going to divide by three minus one, which is just two. So we get that the sum of the five terms here should equal 484. That is the sum of that series. If you have a question about that one, please make sure you reach out. We'll help you out as best we can. Thanks for watching.